Well, hello again. I hope you all have had a very blessed week. I'm thankful for all of the opportunities we've had to interact uh, over the phone, by email and text message, and then uh, through various online opportunities, both the live chats that we've been able to do. Those have been uh, fun uh, this week uh, with all of you that have participated and then some of the recording recorded teaching that we've sent out that uh, many of you have given us feedback with regard to. We're very thankful uh, for your continued encouragement and your prayers. Um, I hope that uh, you are doing well in the places that you are and that you'll continue to benefit from uh, the teaching and uh, the, the support that we're able to share with one another uh, during this extended season of isolation and quarantine. This afternoon, I've been finishing up uh, the material for the Lord's Day. We're about to get all of the sermons recorded and uploaded, and uh, you will be getting the material for the Lord's Day for your private or family worship. Uh, once again, uh, it'll be coming by email on Saturday evening. Hope that that will be a blessing and an asset to you. And just to reiterate some things that we've said earlier earlier this week, we're not seeking to replicate and certainly not to replace the corporate gathering of the Lord's Church uh, on that holy day, but rather to encourage you and assist you as we engage on the Lord's Day in that daily obligation that we all have of seeking the Lord's face in the name of His Son with the help of His Spirit, both in private acts of devotion as well as in our family worship. And since the church is not able to gather together in our congregation and in many other places, we feel that uh, this kind of format is uh, the best that we can do uh, in terms of encouraging you and assisting you. We won't be trying to live stream the services, but uh, at this point we think that uh, a, a common liturgy, uh, common readings, prayers, uh, hymns, and then a shared time of study together uh, is probably the best format for us to pursue. This Lord's Day, we are going to begin a series uh, preaching through the book of Joel, and uh, we've explained in some earlier videos why we chose to do that at this point. I'm very excited about that series, looking forward very much to sharing the first installment of that material with you uh, this weekend. And then on Sunday evening, uh, you will have a sermon devoted to the topic of fasting and prayer, working out of the text of 2 Chronicles chapter 20, as we see the national day of fasting and prayer that uh, King Jehoshaphat Fat called for in a time of great crisis and danger. And as many of you are aware, we have agreed together with a number of other congregations in our presbytery to set aside next Wednesday, April 1st, as a day of fasting and prayer for our nation and for the world but especially for the Lord's Church in the midst of this crisis. And so we want to uh, be proactive in giving you some biblical teaching on the discipline of fasting, make sure that we're prepared to think rightly about what this exercise is and how best to pursue it, and also to understand where fasting fits into the gospel, to make sure that this is driven by the gospel and comes from the gratitude that we have for the grace of God we've received in Jesus Christ and is not merely a matter of duty or uh, drudgery uh, that uh, relates mere, strictly to a, an obligation of the law. So hope that you will be planning to tune in with your family and study that material uh, very carefully. Please continue to reach out to one another, uh, communicate with us as elders uh, as you know of needs. Help us know how we best can serve you, and be sure that we love you, that we're praying for you, and that we want to do everything that we can to encourage and assist you during this time. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.